Hello viewers, hope you all are doing great. As you all are aware that we are done with carbohydrate series on my channel Food Cyto. Now onwards I am beginning with proteins, right? So in today's session, let's have a look over few key learnings of proteins. First of all, let's analyze this term proteins from where this has originated. So this term proteins has originated from a Greek word that is proteos, which means primary that is first rank of importance. Now, when you talk about importance regarding proteins, so proteins are of paramount importance in all the biological reactions from lower prokaryotes to higher eukaryotes, right? And proteins occupy a prominent position in all the living cells qualitatively as well as quantitatively. Now, let's have a look over these two aspects, how proteins are of importance both qualitatively as well as quantitative. So, when you talk about qualitatively, proteins are required for all the biological reactions, right? For example, uh, there are specific proteins which are known as enzymes, right? And our body needs enzyme to carry out a number of reactions. What do enzymes do? Enzymes increase the rate of a reaction by several orders of magnitude without affecting themselves. So, there comes the role of proteins, right? In addition to that, proteins are uh, involved in trans transportation of a variety of ions or small molecules or electrons. Next, proteins possess hormonal activity in the form of antibodies or antibodies kya karte hai? antibodies defend organisms against intruders whenever there is foreign invasion in our body antibodies defend from that foreign invasion right then proteins also play a very important role in reception and transmission of signals both at intracellular levels as well as extracellular levels also proteins are necessary for providing mechanical support and a filamentous architecture within and between the cells thus they are essential to cellular contraction and coordinated motion which is very important to carry out routine activities right now let's talk about the quantitative aspects proteins are the most abundant biomolecules representing over 50 percent of dry weight of cells right which is far more than the other important biopolymers for example uh, nucleic acids or lipid assemblies each organism contains a large number of specific proteins which may vary from hundreds for example in bacteria to thousands for example in uh, animals or in men right so this was the introductory session about the proteins with few key learnings or highlights and uh, I'll be covering more technical aspects of protein in, proteins in my subsequent video. So stay tuned with Food Cyto for uh, more such concepts and learning in a simplified manner. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for listening.